Hi guys, John Jode here. Today we're going to make a kick in 3x OSC. We're going to start with the main page here. The main patch that you have is this. So obviously we have three oscillators and we're actually going to get rid of two of them. These are the mix knobs for oscillator two and three. So now you have this oscillator one. It's set to sine wave as it is in the default. Next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna go to this little gear icon here. After we hit the gear icon, we're gonna go to envelopes. If you're new to synthesis or new to this kind of thing, envelopes affect the sound over time. We're gonna go right here to the volume, enable it. As it is right now, you're getting this volume curve. With the kick, we know we want a very short attack. No hold, no sustain, no release. We want to shorten the decay. Now we have the general idea of a short sound. We're going to go to the pitch envelope now. Enable it. The very first thing you want to do is go turn the amount up to max. The reason being that if you had the amount on zero, it wouldn't affect the sound at all. So now we're turning the amount up to max, and this is what we have now. What we're going to do now, we're going to shorten the attack, get rid of the hold, shorten the sustain, shorten the release. And by shorten, I mean we're pretty much eliminating them, and we have this sound now. We're going to start shortening the decay. Now later on, this tension knob for the decay is going to come in and be somewhat important in the sound. I'll come back and probably address this later, but for now, we're going to shorten it a little bit. So now we're going to set the root note to be in the correct range for a kick. It's normally on C5. I brought it up, which is in turn bringing the sound down. Okay, so somewhere in this range of F sharp 7, G7, G sharp 7, that's getting us in the correct range. At this point, we might want to also go up and touch the volume here for this channel because it's coming in a little low. In fact, we'll max it out. So now we actually do have a kick. Right now, it's on fast low pass, which is allowing low content to pass. If you look at your filter here, we have mod X and mod Y. If you listen to it, mod X is the cutoff. I'm hitting my key, and the cutoff is so low, it's cut all of it off. Mod Y is the resonance. Now resonance, once again, resonance creates a peak where the cutoff is happening. If you bring the Mod Y up, you're going to hear a little something in the higher part of the sound, because that's the resonance. It's going to be pretty subtle, but this is adding a little high on content. As I drag the cutoff down, you're going to hear that resonant peak moving along the EQ here. You can even see it. It's kind of gliding along. I might add a little. Your kick has to have a little high end. Obviously, you're going to adjust everything we have here to taste according to what music you're making. 
I said I'd come back to it, and I'm going to the tension knob here. Listen to the pitch here. It's creating this high to low kind of sound. It's not too obvious. We're going to bring the decay tension knob way down. Okay, so that gives us our kick. Just an idea, if you felt that the high end of this kick was needing more, you might want to layer some sounds. You could even create a different patch in 3x OSC and layer that. Just the last thought, presets are not in this menu of 3x OSC, but if you hit Alt-8, go to Channel Presets, 3x OSC. So yes, that synth does have presets. And if you're new to this kind of thing, it wouldn't be a terrible idea to go in, find a sound that you like, bring it in. All you have to do is click on one of these and drag it into the interface. If you like one of the sounds, but you don't know how to make it, deconstruct it. See exactly what the settings are and find out what is actually happening inside the synth. So there's our kick. So after having done all this, I went back and just printed the audio and took a listen. Sometimes when you're pressing your controller keyboard, the sound of the key being depressed is interfering with your ability to hear the kick that you're making or the sound that you're making. I went back, printed out the audio. I decided that there were just some frequencies in there that were bothering me. Obviously, these videos are meant to give you a starting point, not an ending point. So you're going to have to EQ these things. The kick I ended up with sounded like this. There was some grit up in the lower mids and mids that was bothering me, so I EQ'd it. And I'll play the example one more time, and then I'm going to put the EQ on, and we'll see what the difference is. With the EQ on. The EQ cuts were super subtle, but I'll show you what I was talking about. We had some gritty noise down in here, and this is what it sounded like. So I just cut that out. And in addition, the click, this is of course all context dependent. The high end of the kick totally depends on what music you have this kick under. But the clicky part of the kick in the high end just sounded a little more penetrating than I wanted it to. This is what it was. That little bit bothered me. I hope that helped you, and I hope you're having a good week. I'll catch you soon.